become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Many a time in our projects, uh, we have requirements like we are having the same nozzles with the same nozzle loads on different components. So let us say on this left hand side shell, we are having one nozzle, the size of the nozzle is defined in the data sheet and the nozzle loads are also there. So that nozzle we have modeled over here and exactly same nozzle along with the nozzle loads we would like to have on the right hand side channel. So what are the methods? that we can follow or rather how are you doing it right now whatever the procedures you are following mostly people are using just like command so what they are doing is they are going to that component where they would like to have that nozzle then going into the nozzle dialog box then they are clicking upon just like button over here and then choosing the nozzle which they would like to replicate let's say in this case nozzle n2 that nozzle is having a distance of 500 mm from the start node point let's say from this point where the flange has ended and the shell has started the elevation is let's say 90 degree and the datum distance or elevation we can say from the datum line what is the datum line it is in this case the left hand side tangent line from that it is located at 3848 so if i am going to give the name to this nozzle as nozzle n4 so let us see what is going to happen yes that nozzle has been created isn't it so this is what we were looking for we would like to have a nozzle which would have the same dimensions as nozzle n2 so that has been created then what's the problem so if you have a closer look at in the nozzle n2 there are this blue and green color arrows which indicate there are some nozzle loads and if you are having a closer look at nozzle n4 you are not able to see those nozzle loads so this nozzle n4 doesn't have any nozzle loads but was that our requirement no our specification was saying both are process nozzle and nozzle loads are applicable for both these nozzles so what needs to be done so let's say first we are going to delete this nozzle because we don't want this nozzle without nozzle loads so we are going to have one more method by which we will be able to model the nozzle along with the nozzle loads so let's first delete this nozzle n4 so for that we have to double click on this nozzle n4 and once the dialog box open we just simply have to click upon delete option okay and then we have to click ok so you can see now there is no nozzle which is on the right hand side channel shell now what needs to be done so here you can see this dialog box this is called as a list dialog box so we have to click on this list dialog box the moment you click over here you will come to know that there are multiple options on this status bar or task bar rather we can say nozzles weights packings pores rings platforms so all these things will be indicated over here right now we are interested in what nozzles there are three nozzles which are there nozzle n2 which is on node number starting node number 20 so you can see from node number 20 nozzle n2 is there at a distance of 550 from the datum datum is what datum if we are going to have visibility and height scale you will come to know about the datum wherever you are going to set the datum in this case it is uh, set on the left hand side tangent so from this tangent this is located at 550 and from weld line or from the starting point of this shell it is at 500 that's the reason why you can see over here it is from the datum distance it is 550 correct similarly the other nozzles whatever has been modeled nozzle n1 over here and nozzle n3 which is on the bottom side 
So now we would like to have one more nozzle on right hand side channel shell. So how to be done? So we have noticed that the distance at which we would like to have that nozzle was 3848 mm with reference to the datum. Okay. So click here to add the row. So I am going to click upon click here to add the row. Then you can see one row has been added at the bottom. Now we would like to have which nozzle? This nozzle. So I am just clicking on that. Then pressing Ctrl C. That is nothing but copy. Then I am coming to this nozzle and pressing Ctrl V. That is nothing but paste. Now you can see here the same data has been copied. Now we have to give the name nozzle N4. And from datum, what is the distance at which it's supposed to be? 3848 millimeters. So you don't need to change the nodes. So if you give the proper datum distance, the software will automatically change its node. So I'm just going to click upon OK. You can see over here, the nozzle has been replicated along with the nozzle loads and the elevation at what we were having requirement, right? So nozzle N4 has been copied similar to nozzle N2, all the dimensions and nozzle loads also have been copied. So with the help of this list dialog box, we can very easily can be able to copy multiple nozzles. You can see nozzle N4. Now the software has automatically considered from node point as 90. What we need to give the correct from datum distance that's it and whatever the other data let's say the layout angle if you would like to have it on the downside then you must have given it 270 then the orientation would have been on the downside so with the help of this list dialog box you can very easily be able to copy nozzles with the nozzle loads as well if you would like to move the nozzle let's say this nozzle n2 you would like to move to this place then how you are going to do it? Again, we have to go into the list dialog box. Here you have to give the distance. Let's say the distance is 2800 millimeters. The moment I'm going to change the from node distance or rather the datum distance, you can see this nozzle is going to shift from this place to this place. I'm just clicking OK. You can see, right? Otherwise, it would have been very, very difficult task to move the nozzle from one place to another. But here what we have done, we have simply moved this nozzle with the help of this list dialog box. If I'm again going to keep it as 550, it will again come back to its original location. So this is very vital tool list dialog box for nozzle copying and even for the movement of the nozzle, you can use it. There are other options also in list dialog box which we are going to explore in the upcoming series of the tips and tricks. I hope you must have enjoyed this.